What's up guys? On the road again, doing some errands this morning. Some quick stuff. Headed to the Goodwill because I got a truck full of stuff in the back. Remember uh, a few vlogs ago, Kathy and I mentioned that we were throwing away 27 things every day for nine days. Well, the truck is now full. I'm taking this stuff to Goodwill. The whole point of this exercise is to attract prosperity. What has happened as a result of it? Well, it kind of blows your mind. get into that towards the end of the vlog actually with Kathy and we'll reveal to you some of the things that we've done and I want you guys to do the same thing but for right now I'm headed to Goodwill I'm gonna go pick up my bike and if we happen to spot a cool car on the way so be it my trip to the Goodwill I got an empty truck now that feels good cannot tell you how good it feels to have my bike back. Thank you, Helens. So our son, Sean, just bought a brand new car because they're having a baby and they needed a cool car so they uh, whipped out that um, Honda. We're gonna go take it for a spin and we're gonna go to uh, BurgerFi, get a burger in the new Honda. blue car and an orange shirt. <laughs> Not really sure what that's about, but oh, yeah, uh, you didn't get a chance to oh, check you it out, didn't did you? See the shirt. <laughs> uh, I didn't. I'll have to check it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a good one. But it's got to be a vegan shirt or a yeah, vegetarian exactly. shirt. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, are you fitting okay in the back with the with the baby, baby seat? seat. It's a, good a baby that's got no baby in it, yeah. but it will be soon. Abigail Bailey is coming to the vlog. It's gonna be so tiny. <laughs> uh, we're gonna bring you guys right into the labor room, right as she's having, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Isla's had a Honda, I think her last three cars or so, they've been great. Um, yeah. You know, no problems with the engine or anything. You know you're gonna have this car for the next 100 years. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. You know, you're probably gonna will it to your grandkids. <laughs> right. Abigail's gonna be driving it to college. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be cool. Yeah. You've only had the car for one day. What's your favorite part? Oh man, one day, let's see. I like the, the height driving a little bit higher. I've been used to doing the low cars for a while. Get the, yeah. a little better view. Yeah, you're not scraping your butt along the, <laughs> exactly. along the street. Yeah. Uh, 19.5 okay. before tax. 19.5 yeah, before tax. So it was like 21.5. You know what the gas mileage is? I heard around 30, but I don't know if it's quite up to exactly 30. Yeah, that's pretty good. Congratulations, man, new cars. <laughs> Freaking awesome. Oh. Baby, going in there soon. <laughs> I am gonna talk. Yeah. Uh, so, Sean, uh, to congratulate you on your, oh, yeah. on your new car. Oh yeah, very nice. <laughs> it, to celebrate your new car, you have to do the the maze from the coloring book. Right. And I'm gonna time you. Wait, wait, I need my phone. <laughs> you ready? You ready? I'm ready. Okay, flip it over. And the start is right. That's the start right there. Yeah. Automatic. Ready? Set. Where am I going? You got. You got to, to go. The treasure. Yeah, to the treasure. All right. Go. All right. Here we go. Uh -oh. 
Dude, you're sucking. <laughs> you're sucking so bad. Two minutes. Two minutes. Meet your mom. Three minutes. All right. <laughs> Today it's kind of a gloomy day. There's some rain coming. Uh, I think next week for two or three days this isn't ideal for Kathy's situation. But we do have a meeting coming up at the studio, taking the the prop that Kathy's building. And their special effects guys have to kind of rig up something for that. We'll kind of show a little bit of that. But right now, since I got my bike in the back, that would kind of take it out for a spin. Get a little exercise. You know how that goes. You sit for too long and things just stop working. I'm talking about myself, not necessarily the bike. Making time for what you love is a, a very important thing. If any of you listen to Deepak Chopra, one thing he says that's pretty cool, it's about seven different compartments of time. And one of those compartments is time for yourself. Whether it's internal or external. Internal is more things like meditation and things like that. External is, uh, well, in this case, it's bike riding. necessarily into road biking because I'm pretty much on the road all the time anyway and it's not necessarily the safest thing to do on Pacific Coast Highway as you probably know because although that PCH is uh, considered a highway it's really a freeway it just happens to be a freeway that people are walking their dogs on and, and crossing and riding their bikes along I'd rather go where there's not too many people which is why I have a mountain bike but it's got hybrid tires so I can go on the street too but in the dirt that's where you have a lot more fun. When the time is right and I'm not alone I will conquer this And bring you home When this world has stopped And the breeze is served When the time is right I'll sing you a song You look cute. Am I out of focus? No, you're just irritating. <laughs> oh. Okay, we wanted to wrap up the vlog uh, because I had mentioned that we were doing the 27, throwing away 27 things, but I want you to tell these guys the story as to how we got to that. Ooh. It was a video uh, that I came to me online 
in my, one of my emails. And not quite often I don't usually follow through, but it said actually tips to prosperity. prosperity. And I thought, well, I'll take a look at it. It was like a three minute video. And it was these two ladies saying was to throw away 27 things out of your house or backyard or garage every day for nine days and do not skip a day because they said otherwise you know you have to start over you gotta if you gotta start all the way over and yeah and the point is that you have to open yourself up to abundance you know there's like an ancient uh, Chinese thing called feng shui and that is you know allowing the chi to come in uh, make your entrance way beautiful don't have like stuff all over the place when you want to invite people and the chi in. Mm -hmm. So it made sense to me, so I thought, I'm just going to do it. And I started in the kitchen, in the drawers, in the cupboards. 27 things was so easy, because they didn't say, if you if you had a hair tie you don't use anymore, that's number one. Mm -hmm. You know, so it doesn't have to be big, but some of them were really big and some were really small. You're not sure that you can throw away 27 things, but then when you get into a roll, pretty soon you're in the hundreds because it, you're on day seven. Yeah, and it didn't take long. The 27 things did not take long. Yeah, so much so that that we finished that that session and we kind of want to start it again. Mm -hmm. You know, we got, mm -hmm. we got a garage full of stuff. Or you, you're surprised at how much stuff you don't use. But here's the weird thing that happened. Uh, well, and I said that there were three things. The other two things were about being grateful for the things that you do have. And the third thing was being being grateful for the thing, these things that you're giving away to someone else, but they they were a part of your life at one time, and just be grateful that you had them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that, as a result yeah. of having done this, literally the day we finished, mm -hmm. what happened? We got a call from the Ellen DeGeneres group of people, mm -hmm. and a big job. And the thing that's weird the about The biggest that, job we've ever gotten from them. Yeah. We only get the Christmas uh, mascot every year, mm -hmm. and this is, what, February? Yeah. So out of the blue, they called on my 27th day. But no, 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 I mean my ninth day. Yeah, not only that, though, we, we were talking specifically about the kind of jobs that you wanted, and we wanted to be very specific because some jobs cause more stress than others, and this was the ideal job. It was a client that was fantastic to work for. Right. It was a lot of money, and it was something that would be fun to build and something you could build with our team. Right. Including right. our sunshine. Right. And that's kind of what happens. So the, the whole point... We can't show it to you, though, because it's top secret. Yeah. But as soon as it does air, you will see it. Right. The whole enchilada here is about our thought process, is that uh, there, there are physical things that you do in, in throwing things away, but it's really about maintaining a, a type of mental attitude towards the fact that you can throw these things away because you anticipate and have the intention, sorry, Bug is digging the carpet over there, if you can hear that. You have the intention of throwing things away because you expect abundance to come to you. Okay? Right, and it can't hurt. I thought to myself, whether that sounds like voodoo magic or what, it can't hurt to get rid of stuff. We threw away approximately 460 things. Bug just ate dinner and now he's smearing his face oh. all over my jacket. Oh, excellent. I'm glad it's not mine. Okay, so this is something really simple that you guys can do. And uh, if you commit to this idea, I think you should try it and let us know it, how it goes it for you. Hurt. Um, you know, prosperity comes in a lot of different ways above and beyond just money. Money is great and it helps everyone, but prosperity can be viewed from the sense of getting healthy, from a sense of having a better relationship. So uh, clean out your place, get rid of the stuff that you don't need, uh, try it out, 27 days, no sorry, 27 things for nine days. The worst thing that can happen is your place is cleaner. Awesome. All right, <laughs> let us know how it goes. We'll see you guys tomorrow.